Jesus. You are all in all, God. You are the great I am, God. You are the King of kings and Lord of lords. Everything we need is in you, God. In the name of Jesus, if we need to be healed, it's in you, God. If we need to be delivered, it's in you, God. If we need to be saved, God, it's in you, God. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, everything we need is in you, God. And you said, cast all your cares upon the one that cares for us. Father, we cast all our cares. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how dim it looks, God. We know that you can do everything but fail. In the name of Jesus, God, have your way, God. Do it for your glory today, God. And we lift you up, God, and we magnify you. And we never forget to give you the praise and the honor, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
strong for us. <laughs> Found out that God is stronger than Pharaoh. Amen. 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 That's why God brought the ten plagues upon Egypt. Come on, somebody. Amen. But according to the history, amen. I just came, I'm going to take time and just take time with this word. This is a good word today. Amen. But according to the history, I love the word. Amen. But according to the history, amen, we know that back in 1973, praise God, Egypt and Syria, glory to God, had cahooted together. And then to attack on Israel, then on the Goran Heights back in those days. Huh? But back then, Israel recovered. They did not they did not lose any ground. They recovered any lost got ground that the devil thought he took. And of course, the United States aided Israel. Ain't that what's happening right now? Hallelujah. Amen. Came right on time. And hence, almost because of that, that America is better off than that. We better off for it. Amen. Because we aided and became friend, partnership, yoked up, and allied to Israel. And the word of God is true. He told us in Genesis the 12 chapter, 2 to 3, that if you bless, if you curse Israel, you yourself shall be cursed. But if you bless Israel, you yourself will be blessed. The word of God is true. Amen. Amen. So we know, amen, and I'm reminded, I love to talk about, amen, over the book of Joshua. I just want to go there real quick to the book of Joshua. I know this is not the happening, but I just got to remember, remind y'all how bad God is and how bad God's children are, amen. They stand up resilience. In the eye, in the face of evil, Amen. They stand, they stand a resilience. And then ten and twelve says, "Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day of trenches, or in the day of battle, in the day of the Lord, when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel." And he said in the sight of Israel, "Son, stand still." Yeah, God's son stands still. Amen. Upon Gibeon, and thou hot of moon in the valley of Egalon. Hallelujah. It says, and the sun stood still. And the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon hallelujah, of their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down about a whole day. That's amen. That's the word of the Lord. I ain't lying. I ain't putting nothing in. Take nothing out. Right. The Lord commanded, amen, by the word of the prophets, the word of God. He said, the sun, you're going to stand still. Amen. And so it was. The sun stood still. And because the sun stood still, the moon couldn't do nothing about it. <laughs> Let's go into the word of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. So we know that Israel was bombarded with un merciful attacks and we are praying for the peace of Jerusalem I'm going to read over in Psalms 122 if you can can you stand with me in Psalms 122 reading it's not a short I mean it's not a long scripture but it's Psalms 122 amen and it reads I'm going to start at the 6th verse 122 is 6 amen we do this every time we pray for Israel it's our Israeli anthem for the saints of God. You and Gentile alike, if you love Israel, this is what we do. It says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions sake, I will now say, peace be within thee. Oh, God. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek that good. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. We are praying for the peace of Jerusalem. Yeah. Amen. I can see faces, my Jewish sisters and brothers here. We're praying for the peace of Jerusalem. You know, before I go into the word, I replay Benjamin Not Yahoo's video that was broadcasted on the airwaves exactly two weeks ago. Just, just two weeks ago. And he said he wanted to bring peace. Uh, I believe that the scripture talk about when they say peace and safety, then shall come what? Destruction. Sudden destruction. destruction. So Benjamin Nahu came before the United Nations and he brought a message of peace. Yeah. Historically, was Saudi Arabia wanting 
peace with Palestine and all those regions in that area. And he down talked about how Iran has been the cohort of evil. But if he could, if it was any way possible, he would even pray peace with them. But in the meantime, he said he would be a onslaught of division and a halt to Iran get any type of uh, nuclear weapon. Because we know that Iran does not favor anybody. That's right. Jew or Gentile. You look in their history, they hated everybody. I mean, the Bible said their hands would be a wild, they'll be a wild man, their hands would be up against everybody. That's, right. That's what the word says. So we are gonna pray. Oh God. Has anybody been watching the news? Grandmothers, children, mothers, boyfriends, disabled, the babies have all been dragged out, pulled on demand, some killed, I think over 300 now, yeah. and they said they don't want to give us a top number because they don't want to give any glory to the enemy right, right. on their tantrum that they've been you know, portraying. Yeah, I don't know if it ties to us today. Oh, man, wow. Is that my bad? When I hear about something like that, I think about my own family. I got you back. All right. Because we're married into this family by way of Yeshua HaMashiach. We're married into this family. Do y'all understand what that means? Anybody that's heaven bound? Yeah, Raise your hand if you understand. If you're going to heaven, you will understand. And those that are not going to heaven, you'll raise your hand. But those that want to go, this is the family that we're marrying into. When we get to heaven, they're going to be Gentile on one side, Jews on the other side. We're going to be one. We are one. And so what's happening to them, come on now. So let's go to the word of the Lord. In the book of Ezekiel, we have hope. We're not like those who are without hope. Yeah. Amen. What of the Lord says in Ezekiel 38 and 11, And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. I will go to them that are at rest. Now, what do you do on a holiday? Rest. rest. You're not on a tape. You're not on a wall. On a, on a, on a, Tower on your army guard at watch, you are at rest. Right. And that's what they did. And 11 goes on and it says, that dwell safely, they were dwelling safely. Mm -hmm. All of them dwelling without walls mm -hmm. and heavy, neither bars nor gates. They didn't have no walls up, no gates, no bars up. <coughs> to take a spoil and to take a prey, to turn thine hand upon the desolate places that are now inhabited. They live there. And upon the people that are gathered out of the nations. It was more than just Jews there. Y'all know it was Christians there? Mm -hmm. Amen. There, there's Messianic, amen. The Orthodox, all kinds, come on, of Jews there. It says many nations there, which have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the midst of, of the land. Of prosperity. And, and the, go, the cattle means prosperity. You know they're blessed, super blessed. If you don't know, you better ask somebody. <laughs> and you don't have to go to Hollywood to find out. It kind of like everywhere, every day. Amen. So when you look, you know God's promises are true. He said it over in Genesis 12. He said it all through Genesis. I'll make a covenant with you. I will multiply you like the sand, the sands of the sea. Or like the stars of heaven, I will multiply you. I will bless you. And then he said in Genesis 12, I will bless those that bless you. That's the covenant. And then he said, I will curse them that curse you. It's the word of the Lord. Just the word of the Lord. And so we read over here. And, and, and you know, and I know people say, well, this is not the fight of Gog and Magog. But it's some of the partners that's involved. And the Iran ain't working by themselves. Gaza, they came in by land. They came in by air, yes. and they came in by sea. Don't that sound like something that happened in America? Yeah. It's some of our history war stories. Man. Get them. If you see them coming by air, if you see them coming by land, if you see them by, coming by sea, kill every one of them. Right. 
you know those generals back in those days. That was it. That was the MO back in those days. So they went back in the time of history. They began to look through the through, through the telescope of time and said, oh, this is what they did. They said, we're coming that strong. They planned this for weeks upon weeks upon weeks. So when that, Benjamin Netanyahu who sat up there in the United Nations and made this speech about helping people becoming unified with his enemies to be at peace, it was already in the plan. It was already, everybody said it was. It was systematically planned. It was systematically planned. Now we're talking rhetorically. Amen, but that's all right, Sage. And so what happened was, and then when they planned that, amen, it, it was like they just said, okay, let's give them two weeks while they're in the midst of the holy feast. Right. While they're celebrating, having a heyday, nobody worried about nobody. They said, yeah, yeah, that's my neighbor. We have peace for that neighbor. Hey, man, how you doing, brother? I, I ran off of, of Saudi Arabia, of Palestine. Every one of them, they, they came in through it. And so when they came in, first they threw the bombs. Let me just give you the word. Y'all can just go back and read all the, watch all the videos. Go for to me to the book of Matthew 23. Amen, Matthew 23. It just shouldn't happen. But saints, the good side about that, thought about that, is that we're on our way out of here. That's an indicator. That's the word. Amen, that's, that's a signpost. It's a, excuse me, Jesus is our, cal our, our, our time clock, but it's a signpost. Let me get ready to get up and out of here. Right, right, right. If it was a communion day, I wouldn't let no he, no she, no them, no they, no it divide your attention, distract you, and get you out of out from being heaven bound. Right. Don't let nothing get you out of love with Jesus. Yes. Yes. Don't let nobody make you backslide. Because right. we get ready to get out of here. Yeah. We are in the last minute. And seconds of the last hour before Jesus breaks the sky. It's that close now. Because the scripture I'm going to read before we leave today, what it says. But in Matthew 23 and 37, 23 and 37 read, O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thee, gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. There's going to come a day when Israel, Yahshua HaMashiach, is going to receive Yahshua HaMashiach. Yeah. And then when Israel is going to say, We believe, Lord, yeah. we receive you. We didn't see it before, but now the scales are off our eyes. We see that you are about coming Messiah. Yeah. You are. That it, it's about that time, y'all. Yeah, yeah. We about to get out of here. Because we got more Christians over there, amen, praying, amen, not to convert Israel, because they already believe in God, but just to show them a better way. Yeah. To let them know that Yeshua loves you. Yeah. Jesus loves you. Yeah. Amen. And so when we read that, that's what that's coming about. And, we're not, and I know the scripture says how they killed the prophets. That was the Old Testament. And they, but a lot of them have repented. And even so, they thought they were justified. But then they found out in the word of the Lord that it was just true. That Ezekiel, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Daniel, come on, they were all prophets. And then David, also known as the, 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 the priest, prophet, the king, was another prophet. Come on. And even some would even say Methuselah, Enoch were prophets. Yeah. And then we can go even to the minor prophets, Haggai, Nahum, Micah, all prophets. Not to name them all, but you know there's so many books. Amen. But the all uh, prophets. Amen. But they had to tell what thus says the Lord. They had to tell it. Sometimes when you tell the truth, people don't like it. Genesis 12, we went there already. Amen. We're going to Deuteronomy 10. Amen. Deuteronomy 10. Amen. Deuteronomy 10. I got a lot to work with, so I'm trying to get through here, saints, so that we can go home. Amen. Get right, saints. Let's yeah. go home. Mm -hmm. Get right, saints. Yeah. All right. Praise God. 10 and 15 says, it reads, amen. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them. And he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. He said, Amen. Only the Lord had a delight in thy fathers to love them. 
It's prophetic. All through the book, you see where he loved them. When you read the book of Hosea and Gomer, it's to show them, to show, and whoever reads it, that's a witness that God truly loves his people, Israel. Yeah. Even though Israel kept backsliding, 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 just like what we just read over in Deuteronomy or Genesis or in, in Ezekiel, he still loves them. Yeah. While they're stinking in their sins yeah. and not seeing Jesus as a coming Messiah, he still loves them. He knows it's only a matter of time before they confess Jesus as Lord. Right. Amen. And there's many of them that's coming to the same knowledge of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. So in the book of Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah, I'm going to turn there. I've got a lot of, because I have a lot of running references here. Isaiah, Isaiah. Uh -huh, 43. This is one of my favorite scriptures. I've been reading this for two weeks now, this scripture right here. Amen. 43 reads in the verses 1 through 4. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Start at the first verse of the 43rd chapter. O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Don't that sound like a lover? Do you tell anybody to hate on you? He said, thou art mine. I love you. In other words, I called you. When a husband calls a wife, he is, he says, thou art mine. I love you. This is exactly what's happening. God is talking to his wife. Israel is God's wife. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I have gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba for thee, thy God. Since thou wast precious, come on, you tell your wife she's precious. Oh, vice versa. In my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved, I have what? Love, love, love thee. Therefore will I give men, woo, I'll give men for thee, and people for thy life. That sounds like a man that's mad in love. <laughs> God is mad in love with you. He's not mad at you. He's madly in love with you. Amen. Just think of yourself. Now you gotta put yourself in that position of thinking how greatly God loves me. The preacher tells you, scripture says in John 3 16, and not stone cold 316, boys. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believeth in him oh, no, should not perish, but have shall have everlasting life. Ooh, get excited, right? Feeling my help in the house. I get oh, oh, he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. I remember back when Kelly had to sing the song over and over again. I love you. I love him. 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 Just be God. Just be God. I just love the Lord. Yesterday, all night. In fact, the whole day they kept fighting. If you watch the video, you see the the, the, the dome of the rock. Boom! He kept shooting down rockets. Cause now they have awakened the lion. Yeah. They're not on holy feast right now. It's over for the fall feast. They like okay, it's on. It's on. You want to throw something? Don't start none. Won't be none. So the lion has risen. 
he's up and he's away. And every time they shoot a rocket, boom, the dome of the rock, the dome is shooting it down. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And shooting down every missile, every weapon. Amen. They fighting right now, 24-7. It's on. And they're not gonna stop till they take Gaza. I love all shot. They're not gonna stop. They're relentless, relentless. And then Jeremiah 31, 31, 1 through 3. Hallelujah. 31, 1 through 3. Amen. At the same time, saith the Lord, will I be the God of all the families of Israel. He shall be your God, and they shall be my people. Thus saith the Lord. Amen. The people which, left, which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel. When I went to cause him to rest. Now, ain't some of the people been like that? Yeah. They've been found in the wilderness. Some of them in a bad strait, but God got them. Some just went straight from here to heaven. But you know, from Israel, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a local call. Yeah. Just go, just translate from one life to the other. Yeah. Like the take the way they went. The Lord have appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with a what? Everlasting love. Oh, I can't wait. The king is coming. The king is coming. Therefore, with loving kindness have I what? Drawn thee. He dropped that bomb. He said, with loving kindness. Can't nobody rap like Jesus. <laughs> can't nobody tell it like Jesus. For y'all young girls that say, oh, he like me. Girls, look at that boy. He don't like me. He just tried to get another one. Like, okay, she my girlfriend, she my girlfriend, she my girlfriend, she my girlfriend. Forget those. You need Jesus. Amen. He's the lover of all lovers. He's your husband. I don't know If someone was that a husband did a bad, he's the husband of all husbands. He's the king of Zion. He's the lover of my soul. He's the parent of 10,000. Yes, he is. He's the rose and shared. The man of war. Yeah. Holy God, you can yeah. see what I'm seeing. And he coming with his sword drawn. Hallelujah. He coming to do battle, y'all. He ain't no joke. Okay. <laughs> he coming to do battle. He coming for you. Psalm 94. I went to bed last night watching the video. I slept on it. I've been praying all night. For the peace of Jerusalem. 9414. It says, For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. Are you part of that inheritance? What are you talking about that today, Dr. Shelley? Are you part of that inheritance? Come on now. I'm part of that inheritance. Ooh, it's so much in that inheritance, Dr. Shelly. I can't even begin. Ooh, it's so much. It's so much. Even talk about how much he loves me. It's so much. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Then we go to the book of Exodus. And in the 15th chapter. Oh, Lord is good. God is good to Israel. Hallelujah. Exodus, the 15th chapter. And I love going here because... He just showed you, amen. This ain't the first rendezvous, amen. They, it's been there so many times, so many times, hallelujah. And as you live for God, you're going to get your battle scars too. You're going to find out that they lost about a chicken bone. We've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, coffee cup, bag of chips. Come on. <laughs> we used to battle. Come on now. <laughs> like the kids tell you. <laughs> used to battle, amen. Genesis, I mean, Exodus, hallelujah. Oh, shut up, man. Amen. Exodus, the 15th chapter. Amen. Verse 3. God, I'll start from the first verse because I love this whole chapter. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the this song unto the Lord and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. Yeah. The Lord is my strength and song, and he is become my salvation. He is my God, and I will prepare him in habitation, my father's God, 
and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of what? War. War. The Lord is his name. So what's my name? The Lord. And I, and by the way, my AKA, I'm a man of war. All right. So Putin ain't got nothing on Jesus. Amen. Kim Jong-un, all of them ain't got nothing on Jesus. Oh. And if I knew the king of, amen, Iran, they don't got nothing on Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is a man of war. Yes, yes. Back in the New Testament. Woo, and this is good, it's good, it's good. Hallelujah. Jesus go show if he has to show you, he showed me so many times. But if he shows you, you're gonna say, Yep, yeah, he's a man of war. Right. Jesus don't play. He 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 good for his word. He and then you can bank on him. You can bank on his word. He's good like that. Hallelujah. He'll do what he said. He keeps his word. Like my grandfather used to say, a man keeps his word. A man is known by his word. Yeah. Jesus keeps his word. Amen. Jesus told God, he said, these are the ones you gave to me, Lord, and none of them are lost. He said, except the son of perdition. And that's because that was prophesied. He was prophesied that he going to cut up. Amen. 21. Amen. Go to the book of Luke 21 and 20. Hallelujah. 21 and 20. Woo. Glory to God. And it said, and when ye shall see Jerusalem compact. I'm going to read it again. 21-20. Then he says here, and when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is not. Now what does that mean to us? We can't get out of here. Yeah. Ain't that what happened, y'all? Amen. Amen. He said, when you see this happening, it's happening. Yeah, it's happening. Amen. And you know what? And then for what has not physically attack in them yet, it's coming too. But they, but at the meantime, until they come, it's in the verbal work. They talking about it. Some behind closed doors, some out in the public. But they little talk is gonna fall down to the ground. God said, I'm catching every one of y'all whoop cookies. I'm catching every one of them. All y'all they say that, they, that y'all bad enough to come against Israel, I got you. Yeah. Ain't nothing but a ain't nothing but a minute, ain't nothing but a second for me to just speak and you be gone. He said, God said, I got this. And then 21, 20, read again. And when you shall see Jerusalem compass with armies. Yes, yes. And you know, it was more than one nation. It wasn't just, uh, you know, Iran, you know, they had help from, and man, other companies, or Hamas, excuse me. Hamas had help from Iran, and man, it, it was so much. I can't mix, mix all the names out of one, mix, mix or leave any one of them out, but it's, it was like a band of them that cohooted together, conglomerate of them, came together, plotted and planned for months. Everyone say you can tell this, it's almost like it's Israel's 9-11, like what we had in America. All right. All right. Cut us all off guard. Yeah. They call it just like a man over in, in, uh, um, over in Asia, Pearl Harbor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Like sitting ducks, yeah. everything was howdy howdy, everybody was happy. Be at ease, be at peace. Then all of a sudden, bang! Right, he yep, he or she. Go ahead. You know the submarines had airplanes in them? I'm sorry? The submarines had airplanes in them. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I know now. <laughs> you better believe it, I know now. Airplanes in the submarines, yep. By water, land, and sea. Yeah. Going on, going, I'm still in that chapter of Luke. We'll be there for a while. Luke 29, Luke 21, rather. In verse 29 through 36. I know military people, they love to talk about that. Hey, that. And Vincent and my father or grandfather here, they say something too about it. Amen. Luke 21, 29 reads, And he spake to them a parable. Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, ye see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. All right. So likewise, Ye, when ye see these things come to pass, <clears throat> know that ye know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. It's on its way. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Oh God. But my words shall not pass away. 
you know, I want to say this before I go on to the next scripture reading. I begin to think about the scripture that says, the eyelids show milk in their eyes. Mm. That's some kind of weapon, like, oh, we're back in the time of, back in the time of Pearl Harbor, that, you know, atomic bombs, but this is worse than that. Nuclear bomb can melt every inch of us. We just, we just disintegrate. That's right. We just, a poof of smoke just gone. Because yeah. it's so extremely hot. And then back up to Luke 21 and then 21. 21 to 21 says, then let them which are in Judah flee to the mountain. 21, 21. Uh-huh. And let them which are in the mountain, in the midst of it, depart out. And let not them that are in the country enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance. Whose vengeance? God's vengeance on his enemies. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe to them that are with child and to them that are against suck. In those days, for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be a trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Who are the Gentiles? We are. What's coming? Day six. Everybody say day six. Day six. Remember, we talked about that before. If you add up the Jewish calendar uh-huh. and the day of this year that we're in, about to enter into, 2024, yeah. it adds up to six. Going on. Going on. Luke 21 and 25. It said, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear for and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be what? Shaken. Didn't that shake somebody? Oh, my God. And then shall they see the, ooh, this is what we're waiting for. And then shall they see, wait for it, wait for it. (laughs) I hate to say it this time. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. Hallelujah. He's going to come with great power and glory. No, but he ain't coming just to smile at you. He's coming to knock off some knuckles and some chicken heads. Come on with that. The devil, get on out here. America the beast, get out of here. Image of the beast, come on. False prophet, get out of here. Amen. Come on, saints. Come on, saints. Y'all come with me. Come on, saints. Come on. <laughs> that day is coming. That day is coming. That day is coming. Ooh, can't go fast enough. Maranatha, Maranatha. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That day is coming. Now that day is going to come. 28 says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look. Lift up your head for your redemption draws nigh. Hallelujah. Our redemption is coming. Oh, time of. Oh, barabas. She can no bosha. Amen. Matthew 24. What time is it? I don't want to go over. Amen. 24. I'm trying to get through y'all. I got one more. Yes, Lord. We're coming to a close, y'all. We're coming to a close. Amen. 24 and 27. Oh, my God. And he said in his word, For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? A carcass. Amen. Who is that carcass? Amen. Jesus. Let's go. Amen. God bless y'all. Amen. 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 Matthew 24. Amen. And going on to 36 to 39. But of that day and hour, no, no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, 
they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So she, oh, also the coming of the Son of Man be. Woo! And you read the whole rest of that chapter. You already know. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, God bless you, Jesus. I just want to read this, and then we'll be getting ready to get out of here, saints. Amen. John 14. Amen. Because I don't want to leave you thought, uh, hopeless. I want you to know that hope is on the way. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, hope is on the way. Amen. 14. Amen. Amen. 14, 1 through 3. He says, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have what told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. That's the husband man. He got to go get a house for us. How do you get a house if you ain't got no house to put a wife in? Come on, somebody. This is the husband man talking. And then over here in Revelation 22, hallelujah, I'm bringing it on home now. In Revelation 22, the word says, Hallelujah. This is not my study Bible. This is my Bible, a church Bible. But in Revelation 22, hallelujah, glory to God. And, and 12 verse, 22 and 12, it says here, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. And I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, they, that they may have right to due to the tree of life, and they enter in through the gates into the city. And for without our dogs and whosoever and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Oh my God, I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and offspring of David. Amen. And the bright and the morning star. Then he says, and the spirit and the bride. Woo! Say, come. We say, come, Lord Jesus. And let him that hear and say, come. And let him that is at thirst come. And whosoever will, let him free. Let him take of that water of life. What? Freely. That's it, y'all. Amen. For I testify unto every man that hears the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto the things that God had, shall add unto him the plagues that are written in the book. He just can testify about that. And if any man shall take away the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the, from the things which are written in this book. He which testify these things saith, surely I come quickly, amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We're almost there. Say, we're almost there. Amen. I think I done finished it. Amen. And last verse, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Is there anybody that does not know Jesus as Lord? Is there anybody that's not ready to go if he breaks the sky right now? Because that's where we at, y'all. We ain't, ain't nothing else is ready to come to pass or need to come to pass. Jesus is on his way back. And with that in mind, I'm going to close the book. Amen. I want to say to this that I love everybody in here. There's not one person here that I do not love. Amen. If Jesus come back, he's coming for a church without a spot, wrinkle, or any such blemish. He's coming soon, saints. Oh, my God. What happened to Israel? Guess, what, guess who's next? Did anybody prophesy? Anybody? Who did they, who did they hate over in that kind of part of the world? Who they hate? Israel? And who comes next? You don't even have to eat it. A blind man can see that. That's why it's time. If they be boots on the ground in America, which many prophets and people who just had a prophet again saw it coming to pass. Are you ready when it comes? <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's coming to pass. When you witness, when you pass out tracks, I witness the people at the store, where, at school, wherever I am. Yeah. You know, Jesus is on the way back. Some smile and they say, and they look at it like they don't believe, they think probably I'm crazy. But time gonna come when who gonna be crazy then? Right. Yes, 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 yes. Who, who gonna be crazy? Okay, they, that was the rich man said about Lazarus, didn't he? He said, oh, you got your fine this and fine that, and I'm eating fine, and you up there laying on the ground like a poor dog. Yeah. Later on, that poor dog was sitting on the balances right. of heaven, right. 
while he looking down at that rich man burning up like a crispy over in hell. Oh, crispy cream. <laughs> Just add up a little animation. <laughs> but the poor man was in heaven in the bowels of hell. Hallelujah. When you see those tables turn, saints, come on now. It don't turn. <laughs> so I just want to pray. Let's just stand and do an ending, a uh, seal this word. If Dr. Nixon was here, she'd say, seal that word. Yes. Hallelujah. But Father, I pray for every soul. God, we didn't have any visitors today, but I pray for every soul. I pray that everybody here in the house is saved. Yes. And if you're not saved, raise your hand <laughs> and come on up to the altar. If you say, Lord, what must I do to be saved? We're here to show you. The Lord said in Romans 10 and 9 and 10 that, that if thou shalt confess with thy heart, with thy mouth, and believe in the heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yes. Was appointed of the man to die once, and then after death comes the judgment. Oh, God, don't let it be said too late. I didn't have to get saved. Now I know there's going to be time to, to wait and wait and wait. Waiting time is over. Israel is surrounded by armies now. He can come any day. He can come any day. I could, if I read all the scriptures in the Bible, would you still say, I'm going to wait? For tomorrow may not ever come. If you say, I'm going to wait till tomorrow, tomorrow may not ever come. But Lord, let, let, let not the devil steal the words that came across yeah. his pulpit today. Yeah. Seal it, seal it with your yeah. blood, Jesus. Seal it, seal it with your yeah. blood, Lord. And not one soul miss heaven, I pray. Eternity is too long, and hell is too hot. Yeah. Too, you think this summer was hot. Uh-uh. Hell is too hot. Right. So, Lord, I pray that all your young people be saved. God, that heaven came up here, I just pray that they gave their life to you, God. And meant it from their heart. And yes, she was in every pray. And once again, Lord, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Yeah. Yeah, we'll on, yeah, the land. In your shoes, name we pray. Amen. Call for the ushers and the elders of the church for the offering. Amen. 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 Go right here. Go right here. I forgot about it. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, go right here. Yeah, come on. Thank you, God. Praise the Lord, saints. As you prepare, you are all praying. Thank you, God. I just want to remind you that um, the 32th.